What's going on, man? How y'all feel? It's the male point of view, Clarence Brown, Male Translations Podcast. Checking in from this 15-minute shake break. You already know how we do, man. Checking in from the 9 to 5 gig right now. It's your boy birthday today. Uh, man, it's your boy birthday. You know I'm all the way up right now feeling good. But I just want to leave a quick message for everyone that supports the podcast, Male Translations, uh, supports myself. Um, so I got tagged in a, a video the other day by a friend. And uh, the video was regarding, you know, men having uh, female friends. Should men have female friends? And uh, I was watching the video and the gentleman who had done the video, I can't remember his name, but he had made a point that stuck with me and I just wanted to uh, leave a message on this particular point. And uh, in that video, he made a statement saying that uh, your girlfriend doesn't understand you, your wife doesn't understand you. And the reason why that is is because you don't, you don't talk to her. And um, it was more that he said in the video, but that part stuck with me because I know that myself i've gone through this and i know it's a lot of fellas that go through this that you know they're in a relationship and they have someone that they love that they care for but they feel at the same time like that they don't like they don't understand them you know like the woman doesn't understand them so um a lot of times men find themselves um befriending other women um making outside relationships just because of the fact that they feel disconnected from their lady they can't communicate all of these things and for me I always felt like that was an excuse that men use, but um, we would always get to the point, some men, I guess, you know, would get to the point where they would say, man, you know, I just feel like she just don't understand me. She just don't understand me. And, you know, I've even overheard men telling other women this. Oh, my wife, sometimes I just feel like she just don't understand me, man. She just don't understand me. And the whole while I'm thinking like, bro, you, that's probably because you don't talk to her. You know what I mean? And I know women probably would agree, but, um, I'm one of the biggest advocates for communication in a relationship, but um, with that, you know, you have to, as a man, be willing to accept some of the outcomes. You know, some of the things that you may say to your lady, you know, you, you want to make sure that you say them with love, but some things have to be said. Sometimes you have to, you know, hold a, your lady accountable for certain things. Sometimes you just got to say certain things to explain where you were coming from, how you felt in a particular situation. All of these things you have to do, but if you are unable to communicate these things to her, then you're never going to get to understand it. You're never going to have her understand you fully, and y'all could, your relationships We'll, we'll get tighter and, and um, closer knit. So um, for the fellas, you know, I know that you may go through some situations with your lady where you might feel like, you know, you got frustrated and you, you uh, shut down or uh, you got tired of explaining whatever um, situation happened and you, you, you got tired of explaining your side and, and what you meant and why you did what you did. Um, sometimes, you like I say, you might just feel disconnected. Like, you know, y'all had conversations in the past that went nowhere. It's kind of a dead end. And now you feel like, you know, I don't even really want to talk to you because I know it's not going to lead to anything. You're not going to gain an understanding of where I'm coming from. Um, sometimes even... I, I've been in a situation where it's like, you know, you want to talk, but you feel like every time you say something, it offends the lady you with. It offends her. All of these things happen in a relationship for us fellas, but um, I just, like I say, want to leave real quick this understanding that you got to fight through that. That right there, when you when you get fed up and you feel like shutting down, you can't. You know, I've been in a situation in, in relationships in the past where I just feel like, you know, it's better for me to not speak. Maybe I shouldn't even say anything. It ain't going to mean nothing if I do. And most of the time, that didn't get me anywhere. And the reason being is because what I really wanted was understanding. You know what I mean? And so for the most part, when it comes to any situation that you're dealing with in a relationship, whether it be male or female, for the most part, you're looking for the other party, the other person, your spouse, to just understand where you're coming from. You don't have to always agree. But if they understand where you're coming from, then you feel like at least you're getting somewhere. You know what I mean? A lot of times, just that, that understanding to say, hey, okay, well, I, I see where you're coming from is all that you're really looking for. And so um, as a man, when you're talking to your lady, you know, you have to manage her emotions sometimes. I say that a lot because men don't understand how, um, you know, some women might take things and add on things that you didn't say. They might take things and just interpret them in a certain way that you didn't mean. And then from that point, then they get upset. And so now, not only do you have to to really try to clear clarify what you said, but you also have to, you know, bring the emotions back down, bring the emotions back in check, because now from whatever you said and how they felt off of what you said, they just took that and ran with it. And now you have to be able to, as a man, 
fight through that. You got to deal with that. And you can't just shut down just because they got uh, emotional or they, you know, they took what you said and added on other other things that you never said and just added on an, an interpretation, an interpretation of what you said. And, you know, basically saying, oh, yeah, you implicitly saying this, you, you saying it without saying it. You know, you what, what you said in so many words is means this. And you have to you know be a man and say, no, what I meant is what I said. You know what I mean? I said it. I meant it because that's how I meant it. So that's why I said it like that. And don't add on the extra stuff that I didn't say because those things misconstrue the what I'm meaning, what my intent is, what my message is. So um, as a man, you know, like I said, you 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 have to fight through that. Um, some of you, you know, you might have to develop another approach. Some guys, you know, just come off bat, say whatever comes to their mind. And a lot of times, you know, it can be offensive to your lady. It can be offensive. So the way that you say it, um, just because in your mind it's cool is like, you know, that's what? What are you what are you mad at? You're not taking into consideration how the other person is receiving it. A lot of times, you know, the best messages are with consideration of how the person is going to be receptive to it. So if you're in a relationship as a man, one of the biggest parts about dealing with, you know, your lady is you got to speak to her with love, even when you're upset. Sometimes you have to be able to manage your emotions in order to do the same for her because, you know, you're the head of the household, you're the leader, wherever you go, she follows. So if you, you know, just shut down and you feel like, man, this ain't going to man, forget this, then how's she ever going to get a chance to get closer to you? How's she ever going to get a chance to get to know you better in order to, you know, strengthen your relationship so you know i can keep going on and on but like i say i know it's a lot of reasons why guys would shut down why guys would um you know uh, uh cease communication with their with their lady but at the same time you know as a man if you feel like your lady is truly there for you that she's really just trying to do the best she can to do right by you then you can't shut down on her when the situation comes when things arise where they upset you or maybe she's she upset you and done something and now you just feel like you know what it's better to not say anything i'm telling you from experience that's not going to get you anywhere. It's better for you to speak up, speak your mind, and sometimes just be willing to 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 uh, take on the adversity of a disagreement or her, you know, misinterpreting something you said, so that you can further clarify what you're trying to say and you can get a better understanding from her. And and you guys will be, you know, closer together because, in my opinion. A lot of relationships last not because of the love was just burning at an all-time high throughout the duration of their relationship, but as they grown closer together, they got to understand one another. You know, you might have heard your grandmama say, oh, baby, he, he just like that. That's your granddaddy. You know, he, he that's just how he is. That's just come from an understanding and an acceptance, excuse me, acceptance of who you have, you know, and just saying, okay, well... I know how this person is and that's all right with me. And because I understand who they are, it allows me to deal with them a lot better. So that's what we all want to be in a relationship. Fellas, don't um, cease communicating. You got to talk to your lady. And, and ladies, if you know you, you feel like your partner is not talking to you, you need to step up and maybe say, hey, you know, what's going on? I feel like you, you're not talking to me. Is there something I'm doing that makes you feel like you can't communicate with me? Most of the time we have serious conversations. You end up, you know, shutting down and you end up you know, just killing the conversation all together. What's going on? So you got to do that. Both parties, you know, have a little bit of accountability. But fellas, like I say, you know, just because she don't understand you doesn't mean that you don't have any any um, accountability in that. You know, you have onus in that. So you have to speak to your lady. You have to communicate. You have to keep going. Even when she get mad, even when she might, you know, take something and twist it around. No, you twist it right back to where it was really originally at, what you're really trying to say. But you got to do that as a man and don't be afraid to do that. So I'm going to leave y'all with that. Like I say, it's Mr. Mel's point of view, Clarence Brown, on my birthday, but getting in is 9 to 5. But, um, you know, I appreciate everybody that's sending the birthday wishes. I appreciate everybody that's showing love to the podcast, supporting the message, sharing the message. And uh, we'll see y'all again. Remember February 4th, uh, Love and Laugh tonight, uh, Crown Plaza, Tampa, Florida, 8 to 1030. Man, we're going to turn up there. So I hope you guys come out. We're going to have a great time. I promise you, if you come out, you're going to always want to be out there. You always want to come out to Love and Laugh tonight. I guarantee it. So I'm going to leave y'all with that. I'm out. See y'all again. Peace.